better. Is it fixed? I got rid of the music. No. Oh. Fix it. Better Nexus? I don't know what it was. My computer was frozen or something. There. Well, that'll be a fun stream thing later. Alright, on to the general store. In there. Okay, so I set up the vegetables earlier, reorganized them a little bit. Um, because I didn't like how cluttered they were. But carrots, potatoes, broccoli, and a little asparagus that I really want to take out and show you. I'm very proud of how the asparagus is turning out. Like I said, just a slow process. So I'm not sure that I want to do it on screen. But there's my aspergrass. And they're all separate spears, so they'll come out of the string if I shake hard enough. Um, but I do have plans for something for the farm with that. I'm not sure that I want to do just asparagus. I think it's going to be a bigger project. Uh, Nexus, if you're curious, uh, if you want to go back and watch the earlier part of this video on YouTube, um, I kind of discuss what is going on with that plan in my head. But for right now, we got that. Um, we got a little bit of broccoli right now, some leeks, um, strawberries, apples, that are walnuts that are always out there, <laughs> my onions that I made recently. They came out pretty cute. And then I've got. This is also a very old piece that I made um, in like 2011 that desperately needs a little bit of an update because I like how the cake turned out inside and I like how the pot of gold turned out but icing is kind of sad so I have to better with that. Oh, it's not even... There we go. But it's a rainbow cake. With a pot of gold on top. Um, I figure that would be good for this window. And a little piece of cake. Go with it. But I think I can just make like a whipped kind of icing and gotta get the consistency right now i think i know how to do it that in that window and then since it's still kind of winter what better than have bread and eggs On display in this one. Basket is going to be the death of me. This display is the death of me, usually. Did I sort out my wiring? No, not yet. I have the outlets running, um, the extension cords running underneath. I just haven't gotten around to actually getting my drill out. 
drilling the necessary holes. I'll get there. Been, been a couple months. Finding motivation to do it. All right, so eggs and bread, not the most, you know, creative, but maybe they're running a sale. General store. We're going to the pub. In the pub, getting ready for St. Patty's Day in style. I had to switch out the drinks. Of course, I've got a stocked bar. So, what's the drink of choice when it comes to St. Patrick's Day? Anyone in the chat want to guess? Nexus, you know? Booze! Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> besides booze that go for a lot of different holidays. Beer? Okay, close. Um, yeah, so I don't have the correct beer, but what I do have is some JMO, Jameson, some Bailey's, Irish cream and beer, which is going to stand in for our Guinness, but it is certainly not dark enough to be Guinness. Um, Irish car bombs, that's like everybody's favorite on St. Patrick's Day, which is like the most disgusting drink in the world, in my opinion, because anything that coagulates and you have to drink it before it coagulates skeeves me out. So, but everybody else seems to like them. So, we're going to set up. As if we're selling Irish car bombs. That's our special. Our Baileys. Give us an Irish whiskey. And what's going to pretend to be not Guinness, it's Sam Adams. Not this. That's that's my face anytime I watch people drink them. Just gross. Um. All right. Well, here, Nexus, you can have another guess. What's the food of choice on St. Patty's Day? Any guesses? Really? Just not. Celebrate St. Patty's Day ever? <laughs> no, corned beef and cabbage. I could try them with ham. I would have guessed ham too. But I've got this out of what we're going to pretend is corned beef and cabbage and some rye bread. Put our bowls out. No, not never. Wow. Nexus. How are you so deprived? All right. So that's, we're going to leave the pub open actually because I'm going to be putting um, I'm going to be putting the replacements that we're going to use. We're going to make, rather. In there. For now. No to corned beef, yes to rye bread. Corned beef is totally Irish. Corned beef is good. Gosh. Actually, I'm going to make some this coming weekend, probably. 
I enjoyed it the first time I had it. Yeah, totally a fat meat. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that was bacon. Just, just spoiled with your all meat meat. <laughs> that is what gives meat flavor. There, let's turn about. We'll go hang out. Post office doesn't really have any St. Patty's Day stuff. We'll go hang out. Fruit. Fruit is good. Cabbage is good. Potatoes is good. Double and coddle, really good. Uh, there's a pie I made too. Oh, uh, that was like leek. I can't remember what it was called. It had leaks in it. So, so good. Alright, so we've got shamrock. The kind you would probably get in a can, right? You got a leak thing you can share? We share. Ooh, oops. Robin Hood. I don't know where we're going to put all of them, but. Entire bowl of cookies. There you go. Like I said, this is a very quick setup. Patty's Day is not the biggest holiday in my family, first off, and not really. If I had to be honest, I personally don't celebrate St. Patty's Day. Because St. Patrick was Scottish. <laughs> I am Scottish. Don't like. I've just got some quarrels about <laughs> the celebration of him. But it's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. His parents were Italian. Like, there's so many different stories about St. Patrick. Nobody actually knows. But I, we celebrate St. Patrick for all, but then we celebrate him in all the wrong ways. Like, it's supposed to be a religious holiday of... Now, I'm not one to talk because I'm not religious. I'm not going to get up on my soapbox, but we celebrate him in all the wrong ways because we are drinking and gallivanting and so, like in the middle of the Lenten holiday. So it just doesn't seem very Christian, first off. Second off, he drove the pagans out of their native land. So I just going to get off my horse about it now, but it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> None of it makes sense. They never got a lot of Christian holidays. Don't, don't make sense. I, I, I really just want to understand more than anything how it got to this point. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> so I've got a little metal kind of candy dish and our bag of Irish potatoes. Funny story about Irish potatoes, actually, my fiance and I, when maybe a year into us dating, it suggested that I make Irish potatoes for our acting group as a dessert. One of our friends is allergic to coconut. Not definitely allergic, but like it makes her super itchy, and I wanted to make sure that she was going to be able to have some dessert. So um, I said, okay, well, I'll make some without coconut, right? Uh, and there was another girl who also had an allergy to cinnamon. So in my lack of knowledge, because I'm not an Irish potato eater, um, he said, oh, you could just make some without coconut or 
cinnamon just to cover your bases. And I said, so what? It's just cream cheese. I'm just going to hand her a block of cream cheese. It's like, no, because <laughs> I was utterly disgusted at the idea. So I said, no, you just make vanilla creams at that point. Just how much I knew. And what I had made, the Irish potatoes, I severely underestimated how much sugar goes into them. So what we had was Irish potato goo laid out in a tray covered with cinnamon and people were just like scooping it out of the tray. That way, way, way back before COVID time. So, you know, it was not as disgusting, but it was disgusting because people were just taking a spoonful and like digging in and eating Irish potato goo. To me, it was funny. <laughs> It wouldn't be so much now. So there's our tray of Irish potatoes. That's going to go back on our buffet table. And last but not least, we're going to set up cauldron of gold and shamrocks. This is the most dangerous thing I could set up because it's all open micro beads. But here's the thing too, like Irish potatoes, none of that is Irish. Coconut does not grow in Ireland. Cinnamon does not grow in Ireland. Sugar doesn't grow in Ireland. Cream cheese you can't make. Like, I, where did we get these holidays? No, not glitter. It's microbeads. I have to get a bunch of them into here. This is, well, I lose at least a hundred of these beads every year. That this. Yes, Gary. Oh. I'm not even going to try to get the rest of them. Here, a little gold drink. Throw all our gold. Oh, sneeze, Bailey. And I've got all these little paper shamrocks I made. Stick it into the bowl. Don't, yeah, well, stop distracting me. And now I don't need the tweezers. But this is just harder to do. I haven't set this up in my view, so. Irish eyes are smiling. Right? Is that how the song goes? Um, it's not that I'm not Irish, like, I am also Irish, but it's just, it's, it's funny to me how America takes holidays that don't belong to them and just gives them an excuse for 
drinking all day. Because if you ask the Irish what they do on St. Patrick's Day, they're like, we drink at the pub like we do every other year, or every other day. Drink, right? Ancient man of the 1200s drove some snakes out of Ireland. Let's have some drinks. There's uh, a pot of gold. Let's hope, hope that we don't have an earthquake. Or thunder small child at any point in this room. Uh, right. Okay. That's the case. Now we put it in the living room on the um, stand that's behind the cat um, the stairs. So that's our St. Patrick's Day setup. Like I said, really easy piece, really quick. Um now I'm gonna make uh, place mats that I was talking about. So let me scoot you around. Walk out the way. Drop some things on the floor. I know, gravity always getting in the way of miniatures. Right? The worst. So, this is the. There you go. Here's the ribbon that I found. I thought it was pretty. Kind of like a tartan made of fabric. Probably iron it at some point and find some sort of fringe. I think I have some fringe. Check that real quick. I don't the ribbon. Uh, we'll play around with it, see what we have. What's happening now? Noisemaker in the other room. Now that's probably my door or my rolly chair. Or the heater. There'd be a number of things. Is it that noise? Because that noise, that's the really chair. Uh, yeah, that's my really chair. Fisker scissors. Throwing around a lot of brands today. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I wish it was. Gray check some of this stuff. Because ribbon does not like to stay nice ever.
and placemats are about 18 inches long. So we'll cut this at an inch and a half. Have a marker. No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna eyeball it, and that's that'll be dangerous. <laughs> Get it? Hurt me. Not the most even, but it's going into the pub, so it doesn't need to be. I've got more, so if I don't like it, I can redo it later. What kind of fringe you've got. I got this double sided. I don't have any single sided fringe that would look nice. I know, Nexus, you're freaking out. I don't have a marker. Let me see if I can. I do have a marker. I see it. And that would be good too. Um, oh, I could do that. That's what it looks like when it's, that's what it looks like when it's frayed. All right, I will take your advice. Give me a better starting edge. I told my fiance uh, tonight that I wanted to treat myself to some mini stuff. And uh, he says, good, go, do that. And I was like, yeah, but okay, but you need to make sure that I do this thing. Because if you don't, uh, I won't do this thing. I'll say I'll do this thing and then I won't ever. So I think tomorrow we're going to go to a local game, gaming store that he frequents. Um, well, frequented in not COVID times, but he picks up his card stuff there. But there's also, um, they do the tabletop mini stuff there. So they've got some of the scenic material. I think whatever I can't get there, I'm just going to pick up some wine. I wonder if I've got um, Yeah, it looks okay. Hey. I think I got some yellow to match that yellow line up top. Colors aren't coming through as nice as I'd like, but what do you think of that, Nexus? You're the only person watching. Or I don't 
don't have a blue that matches, I don't think. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Uh, blue, a light blue, a dark blue. Purple's out. White or an off white. different kind of that's like an ivory versus a beige or pink peach dark brown light blue slight blue hello dark blue the purple mm, white Pink, more pink, more pink, white. Got a mint green, but I don't, I don't particularly like the mint green. It can wait, I suppose. I just thought the yellow would look good because there's a mine yellow. Or blue, I don't have the right color for it. Do you want me to send you a sample, Nexus? So you can pick out a color. I've also, maybe I've got a gold. How cool would that be? I don't think I have the right kind of gold, though. Nope. Darn. Hello. I can wait. And I'll send you out a sample. Or frame up to that black line. I'm only going to make three of these anyway. Do any minis this weekend, Nexus? You gotta get your Instagram up and running so you can share some of your stuff. Gearbox, it's cool. Very cool.
can always I will play check the black line. Doesn't carry past that. And the fray check, if it dries a funny color or makes that fabric bleed, the fabric or the um, ribbon that we put over it will definitely. Oh, a black ribbon. I don't have that. That would look really nice. Oh, well. Have that. One. Cut off this extra eye. We'll cut our next one now that I know that I can do white line to white line. And this ribbon is a um, just an inch thick plaid, uh, kind of like a satiny ribbon. Yeah, I've got one. That I picked up. Um, in one of my hoarding escapades that. I did when I was a seamstress briefly. <laughs> briefly. When I was a seamstress. <laughs> and I'm sure somebody's grandmother was cleaning out the closet and went, hey, do you know anybody that wants this? And somebody went, I know exactly who to give this to. And then I ended up with it. So I ended up with a lot of things. But unfortunately, I don't use anymore. Maybe I'll get back into it. If I do, it certainly oh, will not be as intense as it was before. It could money though. What are you thinking of treating yourself to, Nexus? You tell. Your tools? More wood stock. Oh, yeah. That's I need to maybe invest in some of that too. Not that I use it as often as you do, but always good to have on hand. That's a thing I need to get back to finishing my bedroom set for my future house <laughs> that I started and never finished.
into playing yet. No. <laughs> kind of in the mentality of I have to finish the ones I have first. Now, of course. Now I have access to the ones I have, so I can finish them. Finish. I say, again, in air quotes. I oh yeah I know every minute tourist knows that a house is never done sure the big house will never be done I've got plenty of things that I can fill it with and same goes for the pub and the general store and the post office and literally every house that I have but however they need to be functioning. <laughs> now that I have the motivation to do them, I'll probably do it. I've had some of these houses for here a decade. I hadn't had the motivation to work on them until now. Here is definitely the year of the farm greenhouse because that's been the goal with all of the videos so far is to try to get kind of like vegetable crop done. Each season. Here, Nexus, I have a goal for you. I want to run this idea by you. You've got an eye, that kind of thing. Um, I'm looking to do later season asparagus. Turns into ferns. It looks wispy. Like, they call it ferns, but it's not like a genuine fern. Um, it looks wispy and stringy and bushy, and I'm trying to figure out material I can use in miniature. Replicate that because if I'm going to have asparagus growing on the farm, it has to have a late season asparagus. Because it's not something you remove every year, it's a perennial. It's mowed down every year. It doesn't get mowed down until winter. So I'm looking for something that would mimic that wispiness. Thinking of using a green reindeer moss, if I can find it big enough where I can make it, kind of, kind of looks like that, like grass that has seeded out. Not sure how I can achieve that look.
call it a fern. I don't. It's not in the fern family. I don't think. Pretty sure. I just it, can't find something that's similar without not without it being like out of scale. And I want to say reindeer moss kind of has that spread out crispiness, but I just um having a little bit of trouble with that. That's a dry one. Pretty good. I think it'll look better with ribbon. Maybe black. I'm thinking black. What do we think? A fourth? All about it? One more? One more. While we're here. I'm going to go simmer down for the night. Not that this isn't calming. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was gonna get, um, I mean, I have a buddy who sent me little, little bits of reindeer moss too that I was going to use for carrot tops. They're also kind of wispy. The thing, you can always make everything out of paper or clay, in my opinion. You have to source nature for something that's going to look like nature. It's just about finding the right piece of nature. I would like that. Thank you, Nexus, for all of your help. All right. Set up for St. Patrick's Day. And we got four placemats done, and I'm going to place the dry ones inside.
Did I ask about the other firm that grows down the road? Yes, I have not been able to get down there for a while. Um, but next time I go down there, hopefully I have some daylight. I can do some fern searching. in the pub there. Found that ribbon stone, maybe I'll break out the iron at some point. I bread up there, full of peanuts. Put our shells back there. All nice and neat. Turned out pretty nice. Oh, all right. Well, that's uh. That's what we got for tonight, guys. I'm really appreciative that you guys could show up. Um, hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the stream as much as I enjoyed setting it up and sharing everything. With um, like I said, if you check out the website or blog, it's um, Vinspaz. WordPress.com. Uh, our calendar is going to be up later tonight. Yep. Right. And um, that'll have what we'll be doing next. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and have a good night.